All right, welcome back guys. So in this video, we're gonna start working on some of the handle detail. And let's first start off by selecting this surface and creating a sketch. And what I'll do is start to uh, use the slot to get this shape of this button. So I'll go to create, slot, center, center slot. And what this allows me to do is pick a center point before the um, the reference starts to, uh, you know, transform. So from the center point here, I'll drag it down to about here. And then I'll drag out again to get this general shape. And then I'll left click, then right click to uh, hit OK to cancel or to get out of that mode. And I'll just better match this reference. This looks good somewhere around here, so I'll left click on this profile, press pull it. And I'll just pull it out to about here. And let's change the operation from join to new body. Hit OK. And let's hit F to enter fillet mode. We're going to round off this top surface somewhere around here. I said OK, and I do want to mirror this on the opposite end. So I'll go to Create Mirror. Ensure the type is set to Bodies. And for the object, will be this object. For the mirror plane, we'll select this plane here. So if you're in the right view, it'll be the front facing plane. Hit OK. You'll see it's mirrored on the opposite end. Now let's start getting some of this detail here on the handle. So let's create sketch after selecting this surface. And what I'll do is use my line tool and I'm gonna exclude all the rounded areas. I'm just gonna go straight as if there was no smooth transition. So from the right side to here, I'll go up to here, follow this along this path to about here, go down to this corner I'll bring it over here and there is an arc here. So we'll exclude that arc to where the arc starts to continue to be a line and we'll do the same right over here. So exclude that rounded surface, go down, exclude this rounded surface here, bring it down. There's a nice transition here. We're going to exclude that as well bring it down here. So we'll go from this point to here. And then we'll just arc this area. So we're going to create arc, three point arc, select this point, go beyond the sketch. We have this nice little curvature. So we'll right click it. Okay. Now we can go back and start to round off some of these harsh corners. And this is going to be a tough one here on this point. So we'll go to fill it. We'll see if we can round this off. We're actually able to, so we'll go with it. Right click, hit OK. And then we can fill it off this corner. So we'll right click, go up to repeat fill it. Select this top corner. Right click, hit OK. Now we'll right click, go up, repeat fill it, select this corner. Right click it, okay, and we'll just repeat the fill it for this line. And now, once we're done with all the rounding off the corners, we'll start to fill in these arcs. So we'll go to create arc, three point arc. So like this point, and this point, we'll just round this off like so. We'll do the same for the rest of the areas. And we also have to fill it this corner off. Another arc. And 
and I believe that's all. So let's trim access lines we don't need. Then we'll use the fillet again for this harsh corner here. Right click hit OK. Now we have this area. Now let's work on this side. So let's use our line tool and from this left corner, we'll just drag this out this way. Remember, we're, we're excluding the rounded surfaces. Drawing. Exclude this rounded surface. And bring it to here. Right click it OK. Now we'll use the create arc, three point arc. Connect these corners. See if there's any more corners we need to connect. Right click hit OK to get out of the arc mode. And now we can start to use the fillet tool to round this off. Right click hit OK. And we'll add one more here. Now lastly, we'll use the trim tool to clip off this last bit that we didn't need. Now let's right click it OK to exit. Now we can split this body. So that was a pain in the neck doing all these little pieces. But uh, you know, it's going to work out in the end. So let's hit finish sketch. Let's go to modify split body. Select our body. And now for the splitting tool, we'll choose this line and as well as this line. So let's hit OK. So if we toggle off the canvas, you'll see that we have those lines going across exactly where we need them to be. That's really good. And this is a good place to uh, start working on the trigger before ending this video. So let's go to toggle back on the canvas and let's work on the trigger. So let's go to create sketch. Select the 2D background. And what I can do is use the line tool, draw a straight line from somewhere inside this body to go down. Right click it OK. And I'm going to use the create drop down, go to arc, three point arc. From the bottom corner, I'll follow this arc to about here. Then I'll arc this bottom part as well. Then I'll use the line tool from this corner, going through this body. And I'll just go between this orange area. And then I can just connect it to this point. Because it doesn't matter how it looks on the inside of this because we'll, we'll fix that here in a bit. So we'll right click, hit OK. Select this surface or profile, right click, press pull. And we'll just press pull it from this view. Somewhere around here. Change it from one side to symmetric. And we will bring this in closer to about here. Let's change it from cut to new body. Hit OK. Then we can start rounding this off. So we'll hit F to enter fillet mode. Select all these corners or edges. Excluding this one, we'll do this one on its own. Once we're satisfied, we'll go to the right view. Pull this upwards. That looks good. Let's hit OK. And we'll just hit F to enter fillet mode once again and we'll select this corner here. Pull this up right about there. Now we can hit OK. Now back in the right view, I think this is a good time to end this video and we'll continue in the next one.